everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with another Star Wars Black Series review from The Force Awakens, it's Old Man Han Solo. Reading the bio from the packaging back, the exploits of Han Solo are legendary. He's been a famed smuggler, captain of the Millennium Falcon, and a hero of the Rebel Alliance. And as the galaxy teeters towards war, Solo once again finds himself in the centre of the action. But not for long! And to keep Han company, I backed tracked and picked up the Chewbacca that was released in the first wave of the Force Awakens Black series. With Chewie's bio reading, faithful first mate and co-pilot, Chewbacca has loyally stood by his captain's side through the twisting fortunes of a galaxy in turmoil. But it don't stop there as I also have the previous Black series incarnation of Chewbacca. I've had it on ice now for a while and what better excuse than now to break it out for a comparison with the newer version. Further still, I've dusted off the previous released Han Solo to throw him into the mix too. But first let's look at The Force Awakens Han Solo, Solo, you know on his own, the old one, or new one depending how you look at it. While we're on the subject of Han Solo, I'm gonna give props to Harrison Ford because going into The Force Awakens of all the old cast, he was the one I was most concerned about because of them all he needs Star Wars the least. You know, he has likely long had a big mansion up in the Hollywood Hills. In contrast, the dude reprised his role as Nine Numb, he was probably prepared at the command of J.J. Abrams to jump through flaming hoops. Because the rest of his life sat behind a desk at cons charging 20 bucks for his autograph depends on it. In contrast, Harrison Ford not so much, yet credit to him he still did a good job. In his performance I felt that old Han Solo magic back. Probably helped him that he knew he was back for the character Swan Song because yes, Han dies. And after all this time, still somebody will kick off in the comments complaining about me spoiling that. Anyway, good job Harrison, but don't get carried away Disney by whacking him into a new Indiana Jones movie. Try giving Chris Pratt a call instead. Anyway, that's my opinion of his performance on screen, but what about the plastic on my turntable? Well, it's a mixed bag, and I say that based mainly on the deco. The sleeve of his jacket have been recipient of some heavy-handed dry brushing in an effort to translate it into having some age and wear, yet the deco mostly stops at the sleeves, leaving the remainder of his jacket looking distinct. Then the boots, I like the deco of them for the most part. They've also received some dry brushing and it even seems some gloss that distinguishes them from the flatter plastic of his trousers. Yet not sure if this is just on my one or if this is widespread, but the deco has been taken up over the top of his boots on to what should, judging by the sculpt, be his trousers tucked into those boots, but made now to look like a continuation of his boots. Here he is side by side with his younger incarnation on the left of the screen, released back in 2013 as part of the second wave of the Black series. And together like this, if you're old enough like me to have enjoyed the original trilogy as a kid, then it's a bit like they are a mirror for your own mortality. <laughs> Depressing, I know, but to counter that, for me the biggest success of The Force Awakens was that it introduced younger and newer endearing characters that eased letting go of the past. However, in practice, all those years that have passed are embodied in The Force Awakens Han. So he is stockier and just generally has the posture of an older man weighed down more by his own history. In that way, I feel the sculpt scores higher than the deco. And to my eye, The Force Awakens older Han has a better likeness to Harrison Ford as he is today than the younger Han Solo does to Harrison Ford as he was back then. And that speaks loudly about technology as for this new Force Awakens Han, I suspect its likeness is by virtue of a digital scan of Harrison Ford's face and head. Technology that didn't exist to do the same to him in the 70s and 80s to have on file now to recreate his younger self. For accessories, they both come with blasters, albeit old man Hans is a bit limp and flaccid, but hey, that can come with age. <laughs> but more seriously, it is a lot lighter on deco with the only deco to it being to the handle. And on both versions, the blasters can be secured into their respective hip holsters. But then younger Han comes with so much more and this is where I feel like since its inception Star Wars The Black Series has represented less bang for its buck as time's gone on. As in addition to that hip holster harness, well that can be interchanged for a stormtrooper belt which needs to be secured round the back here and then that belt comes with a stormtrooper blaster. 
And while for accessories I'm honestly not sure what else the Force Awakens Han could come with, but it's more the principle they don't seem like apples for apples. A point that's underscored even further when you consider that younger Han also came with interchangeable hands, so he came with a second set wearing pilot gloves. Now comparing articulation and they both have heads that rotate side to side and neck hinges where they're both able to look down quite a fair amount but then younger Han is able to look up much more because he's a little bit giraffe necked. Whereas on old man Han, his hair and jacket collar inhibit the neck hinge from moving back any further. At the shoulder, the arms of each both rotate and then they both also hinge up, younger Han a bit more, and then that the elbow both have rotation and then essentially a single jointed hinge. Then at the wrists, the hands of both of them rotate and they're also hinged, moving down and also up. Then they each have a diaphragm joint which rotates and it also crunches slightly forward and then this far back a bit further on younger Han at the hips their legs move out to the side this much they move this far forward and this far back they each have upper leg rotation and double jointed knees then at the ankles their feet are hinge moving backwards and forwards and they both have that crazy ankle rocker pivot that I love and taking advantage of that ankle pivot this is young Han at his widest stance possible still with both feet Feet flat on the floor and here is old man Han doing the same. He may have a limp blaster but is still pretty nimble. Now moving on to Chewbacca who for comparison like Han I have him in the form of the original trilogy and the newer Force Awakens one. Yet yeah, unlike Han the two are almost the same. Understandable as I assume Wookiees are one of those alien races with super long lifespans so while the passing of a few decades may ravage Princess Leia to Chewie it's nothing to sweat. In fact if anything I actually thought he looked younger in the Force Awakens. Maybe that's just because it was a newer costume I don't know. But while while mostly the same, the decos are quite distinct with the Force Awakens one on the right of the screen there, to my eye appearing quite ginger. And sticking with the Spice Girls analogy, because why not? The original trilogy one is more scary, at least in the head sculpt with his growling facial expression. But I actually think I prefer the more laid back expression of the Force Awakens Chewbacca because I want a Wookiee that I'm not scared to give a big old hug to without getting my head bitten off. But yeah, other than the head sculpts and the deco, the only other difference is the bandolier satchel strap thing. And just as I say that, I'm now noticing that while subtle, the bowcaster accessories of each of them are actually distinct sculpts. However, a less subtle difference is that like the Force Awakens Han's blaster, the Force Awakens Chewbacca's bowcaster has zero paint deco to it. Whereas with the original trilogy Chewbacca, his has some nice dry brushing, making it look more realistic and just less cheap and plastic really. Now, you know, in terms of articulation, Chewbacca, what with being a big shaggy beast of an alien, his design was always going to present some problems, so let's see what they've done. And his head is just on a ball joint there. And I do like how they've used the sculpting of the fur to hide the joint cuts, but still it does inhibit some of the articulation. So at the shoulder, his arm rotates and then it hinges up this far. At the elbow, there's rotation and then his lower arm hinges to less than a right angle to his upper arm. At the wrist his hand rotates and yes there is also a wrist hinge there. Now he does have two joint cuts in the torso hidden underneath the sculpt of the fur and they both rotate and then do either of them crunch forwards or backwards? Doesn't seem so. Let's look at the other Chewbacca. Now with him his lowest torso cut definitely seems to also crunch forwards and backwards much more definitively. Now if you have the Force Awakens Chewy, do let me know in the comments how the articulation is on yours. The hip articulation is pretty poor, the legs don't really seem to move particularly far in any given direction, and then there's upper leg rotation, and then at the knee it's hinged and it also rotates like the elbow, and then the feet, I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they're ball jointed. So let's end by reuniting each Han with his respective Chewie and side by side to their credit, I do like that Hasbro was strict with observing the scale as Chewie is appropriately towering over Han. I'd give all four a recommend. I mean, the two Hans are different enough for it not to be an either or situation in a collection. Chewie much less so. I just wish the Force Awakens one had the deco of the original trilogy. 
trilogy one. A Han Solo prequel movie is in the works, I suspect, telling of how Han and Chewie first met, like Monsters University, but hopefully good. So maybe one day we'll add an even younger Han and Chewie to these. Anyway, click this video for more Black series that's a bit more off the Star Wars beaten path in the form of Kane and Jarrus, and give this video a big thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye. Further still, I have the previously released Hand to Hand. Hand? Hand to Hand? Really, Glenn? Get it together. Further still, I have the previously released Hand to Hand. Stop saying Hand to Hand! Ooh, this is a bit of a tongue twister. Further still, I have the previously released <laughs> I was gonna say it, I could sense it. Further still, I have the previously released Han to Hand. Yeah.